When was the last time JavaScript's this keyword worked the way you thought it did? You have an object with a function, and you call this in that function to get some data from the object, only to find out that the data isn't there because this isn't the object you thought it was. Did you know that there are four different ways to change the context of a function's execution depending on how you invoke it? In spite of what seems like a lot of complexity in understanding JavaScript's context, there's four patterns of managing this that are easy to understand and critically important. In this episode, we'll look at all of the function invocations and how they can manipulate this. We'll also see some common scenarios that trip people up, like passing an object's method as a callback and accidentally creating a sort of a shared context between objects. We'll see how we can manipulate a function's context directly, and we'll look at some great ways to work around the strangeness, including ignoring context entirely, and permanently binding a function's context to whatever we want. So join me as I explore and explain context in JavaScript's functions, and show you how to bend it to your will.